What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Code Gotti, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we'll be getting into my predictions for the Washington Husky season. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's ride. All right, last year, <clears throat> Washington had a fairly good year. They won the Pac-12, even though they had playoff implications. Jake Browning's final season, coming off of a Heisman contending season, he had he was a letdown. <clears throat> this year, Jake Brown is gone. Gaskins is gone. They got offensive linemen that are gone. <clears throat> Linebackers are gone. Wide receiver core is all pretty much the same. Quarterback replacement, they got Jacob Eason, the transfer from Georgia, who had to sit out last season. <clears throat> I believe he'll have a amazing season this year for Washington, especially in that system. With that offense running back, I don't see no downfall. They do running back by committee. Gaskins was good, <clears throat> but the players they got there will be able to pick up the load. Offensive line is the biggest concern for the offense because they got to be able to block for the run and keep Jacob Eason safe, and a lot of those guys are gone, so we'll see how it goes for that. I think that they'll be able to <clears throat> hold it down for the most part of the season and there won't be too many issues starting off the season they're at the house against Eastern Washington that'll definitely be a win for them then they'll stay at the house and they'll play California that'll be another win probably a big win just like the first game then they stay at the house and play Hawaii that'll be another easy win so that's three easy wins to start the season off then they go on the road to BYU. <clears throat> this might be a challenging game. I don't think they'll lose it all, but I just think that they might have an ugly game against BYU. Then they come back to the house, play USC. This could be a tricky game. I think USC is gonna have a big season, especially compared to what they had last year. But I still got Washington win that game. Then they go on the road to play Stanford. Stanford to me this season is <clears throat> basically in a reload year, a rebuild year, whatever you want to call it. But I don't see them having anything to stop Washington and Washington winning that game. Then they go on the road and play Arizona. Like I said, you know, I believe Kevin Sumlin will have Arizona being competitive in the Pac-12, just not yet. Washington will definitely win that game. Then they come back to the house to play Oregon, and this is the game that matters. This game right here will choose who wins the North and who will probably win the Pac-12. <clears throat> I have Oregon win this game mainly because of experience. I just feel like they have more experience and more depth than Washington this season. I do feel like Washington can win it. I won't be surprised if they do. But I'm picking Oregon to win the game. Then Oregon will go back. They'll stay at the house off of a bye week and play Utah. A rematch of the Pac-12 championship. I got Washington winning this game pretty easily. It could turn out bad, like how the Pac-12 championship did. That was an ugly game, but I don't see that happening for this game. I I'm, I believe Jacob Beeson is going to have the Washington offense being consistent every game, so I don't see nothing being low-scoring defensive games like how that Pac-12 championship was. Then they'll go on the road to play Oregon State. This will be a blowout. Oregon State's just completely trash. They always are. They always will be. It's just how it goes. Then they stay on the road. They play Colorado. I believe Colorado will have a little bit of an offense, but Washington on the Pac-12 level normally has a pretty good defense, and they definitely always got a good offense. And like I said, I believe Easton's going to have this offense playing lights out this year. So I got Washington winning that game. And then finish seasons, Washington versus Washington State. Washington will be at the house. I believe it could be a shootout. But I believe Washington's going to have more stops than Washington State. And then they'll win the game. So I got Washington finish the season 11-1. I'm just missing out on the Pac-12 championship because they lost to Oregon. And <clears throat> worst case scenario, I can see them probably going 9-3. and Best case scenario, I can see them going 12-0. and I'm picking them to go 11-1. and But make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Got more videos coming out. Once we get done with the Pac-12, we'll move on to the ACC. It's your boy, Coke Gotti, and I'm out.